Hello Saifuddin. If you don't believe past Islam scriptures such as Torah and Gospel were corrupted, why Muslims today don't have their version of Islam past scripture today? Question mark. Without past Islam Torah, how can we compare with Christianity Bible or Old Testament and without Islam version of Gospel? How to compare with Christianity, Bible, New Testament to seek the truth? It's strange Quran mentioned Allah revealed past scriptures, but Muslim don't have it today. Just final Quran that was only revealed after long period, about 600 years after Jesus' ministry. Hence, in my opinion, should not be used to compare with Christian Bible. All right. So several several question here, and okay, one question, two question, and one statement. Right, okay. So if you don't believe past Islam scriptures such as Torah and Gospel were corrupted, so that's the first statement. So I don't believe because my statement because this is under my video that is titled uh, that is addressing. Um, the the issue of whether the gospel and Torah is corrupted, and I emphasize in my video that I do not have any position with regard to whether what you have in the Bible is is as per written by the original author, or is has been changed, corrupted, etc., and no longer is the same from what is actually written by the authors. Right? I do not have any position there that's my statement but here you are asking about the past islam scripture right in in the quran allah did mention that allah has revealed uh, books to musa which is Torah, and uh, to isa which is injil allah also mentioned that there are all other revelation from to many other 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 prophets and, and messengers right so and we Muslim believe in all of those. Right? Muslim have to believe in all of revelation that have been revealed to any prophets at any given time. Right. So in term of here, right? Okay, let let's 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 hear. Because the question is eh, why Muslim don't have their version of Islam past prescription today, right? Um, the 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 question should not be about corruption then, because it, there's two things. If you are talking about whether I believe, what do I believe about the Torah and Gospel in the Bible? Is it being corrupted or not? I don't care. That's my position. I don't care. First show to me why i should care first right so that's my position there if you're talking about the torah and injil revealed to uh musa and isa or moses and jesus the question should be do you think that it is gone or it's still available that should be the question if you want to say that what where is it now because normally christian we ask, we ask where is it now so you should ask first do you believe it's still here or it's gone? If it's still here, where is it now? That is logic. That's logic. Right? If you ask, do you believe it's corrupted? So where is it now? So how does it match? Right? How, how, how does it match? Uh, I, I don't see it. So, yeah. Unless you already equate, right? You mistakenly equate the Quran says that Allah given Taurat to Musa or Moses, Allah given Injil to Jesus. You already make a mistake of equating that to the Gospel and Torah in the Bible. We have never acknowledged that, but you are making that mistake. And then you you make a question as if the two are the same. And then you say, if this is not corrupted, then this should be it. So, something like that, right? So if that's the case, you have to reframe, okay, what exactly is... Because we are talking using the same words, but we mean totally different things. So that's the issue sometimes. Without past Islam Torah, how can we compare with Christian Bible Old Testament? So why do you want to compare in the first place? 
Right? Why do you want to compare in the first place? Without Islam version of gospel, how do you compare to the Christianity Bible New Testament? So, for this question, why do you want to compare the original uh, or past Islam Torah? Okay. Why do you want to compare um, okay, when you say past Islam Torah, meaning that why do you want to compare the Taurat given by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to Moses? Why do you want to compare that to the Torah? Oh, and why do you want to compare to Injil given by Allah to Jesus? Why do you want to compare that to Gospel? You want to see whether it's the same or not? Or you want to see what? Now the thing is, of course, for the Torah, it's it's because I haven't I haven't got enough understanding to understand what exactly is Torah in the in the Bible, right? But for Gospel. Because people speak about gospel a lot, especially Christian, because that's the core there, right? The gospel, right? The Torah is something before. The gospel is clearly written by four different authors, right? We are talking about the claim. Gospel, Christian actually claim to be written by four different authors. From there, it's already claiming to be not Injil revealed to Jesus, right? So the, the claim in itself, embedded in the claim that this is being authored by four different authors, that in itself, saying that we do not claim to be something that is being given from God to Jesus. So why should you want to compare when the claim itself is claiming to be different thing? Quran claim that this is revealed from God to Jesus. Christian says this is, uh, Christian claim this is written by four authors that really truly represent the life of Jesus not comparison at all this is command from Allah SWT and message from Allah to Jesus to, to share with, with the the, the, uh, the people right if you want to compare if you want to compare you have to compare of course compare if this is uh, available right but the Quran says something about some past revelation right what is the content what is the main content you take that and you compare with the ver the word of Jesus. Y that you can compare, right? Meaning, in the Bible, in the story, of, in the gospel, in the story of Jesus, uh, it quoted that Jesus say, "You have, if you want to go to God, you have to come through me." For example, that's a quote of Jesus. For example, right? see with what Guru An says uh, that in jail, the message of Injil, right? So if in indicate that, okay, if you want to reach God, I'm the messenger. So follow me. For example, right? Oh, maybe it's the same, for example. Right, so that you can compare. But as a whole of uh, of gospel and, and Injil, there's no reason to compare at all because the claim is not even the same. It is strange, Allah mentioned, uh, Quran mentioned Allah revealed past scripture. But Muslims don't have it today. Why is it strange? Why is it strange? Quran mentioned there are many previous prophets. All of them, except Jesus of course, have died. So is it strange that Allah mentioned that, oh, I have sent this prophet, Abraham, Moses, Isaac, Suleiman, etc., right? Dawood. But, you know, Quran says that there are previous prophets. But where are them today? Why don't you have them today? Isn't it, what? what kind of question is that? It doesn't make sense. So similarly, when Allah mentioned that the past revelation right have been given to that people is it weird that we don't have it now it would be weird if Allah mentioned Allah have given something for example to David and it is given and meant to be kept forever for humankind to refer for it forever and then suddenly now where is it it's nowhere to be found. Okay, that is that is a problem for Quran for for Islam because if it claim as such and it's no longer here, right? If the Quran says that we have revealed Injil to Jesus to be the guide for mankind until eternity, until until the judge, uh, until the end of day, it will be referred to by human being until the end of day, and then suddenly, oh now it's no longer being used, it's no longer can be found. So that is a problem if that is the claim. But the claim is never that, right? So 
why is it strange that none of it can be found now? Right? The Quran make a claim that it will be the reference point until the end of time. So, if suddenly some Muslims say, no, the Quran is no longer can be found, then that is strange. Right? Because it's conflicting with the claim. But here I'm not sure what is strange. And I'm not sure, Christian always highlight long period 600 years. So, are you saying that all the previous revelation is like every generation, like 100 years, 100 years, uh, Torah to Torah to Gospel in, in the Bible, right? How many years? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just trying to understand the time period. And then Gospel from the before. How many years? And before how many years? And before how many years? So, is it never long? Which is why you always ask, 600 years! Right? Because I'm, I'm wondering what, what's the logic of highlighting that, period, that, that time period. Uh, and we do not compare Quran with Bible actually, right? Who is there a Muslim that compare Quran with the Bible? That's weird. If they they are right, um, and from my understanding, it's not even a valid comparison, even right. So previously, okay, I was once ignorant. I was one ignorant. So, I assume the Bible is an equivalent to the Quran. Hence, where I put the same benchmark. Okay, the benchmark that Muslim put in the Quran to say its validity, I apply it to the Bible. And then Christian give me feedback. No, no, you cannot do that because it's not the same level. It's not the same level. It cannot be compared. Quran and the Bible cannot be compared. Hadith is the more compatible, right? Because in Islam, we have Quran and we have Hadith. Hadith is more comparable with the Bible. I said, oh, okay, industry. I never realized that. And then later on, I realized, no, 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 no. No, it's not even hadith. It's more of sirah. Right? So, we have Quran, hadith, and sirah, right? So, if you put the Bible and compare the Quran, it's not fair to the Bible. If you put into to the hadith as well, it's not fair as well, I think. Uh, so, now I have, okay, it's it's comparable with sirah. Right? That, that I can see, right? So, um, Muslim that is aware of this, it's, it's not fair to bring forth the standard of the Quran or even the standard of the Hadith Sahih to the Bible. It's not fair to the Bible. Right? Um, so, it's more of a sirah level thing, right? So, I'm not sure which Muslim actually compare Quran with the Bible. Anyway, so thank you very much. I, I have never seen you commenting before. Logic S4H. Thank you for commenting. Um, hope to see you more soon, inshallah. And hope this video is answering your question if anything that i miss or i didn't understand properly feel free to comment back so that i can actually address more appropriately more properly inshallah next time thank you for watching see you next time